Oh my god, am I an adult? The Peanuts movie is finally here, and I was very scared going into this film. This could crush me if this was bad. I grew up with the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. I grew up with every single special that was ever made. Just behind me is a more or lesser known one called You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. I got that VHS tape when I was just a little kid because it was exclusively sold at Shell gas stations. And at the time, my dad worked at a Shell gas station. And brought it home for me, and ever since then, I fell in love with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. I read all the old comics. My dad gave me the old comic books that has a ton of the different comic strips all into one book that he had when he was a kid. They're falling apart. I still have them. I've kept them in as good a shape as I can. Peanuts is close to me. That's my point here. So I walked into this movie very scared, and I left with a giant smile because the Peanuts movie is one of my favorite animated films of this whole year. It's a charming and fun film that follows our hero, Charlie Brown, on his various misadventures because he's terrible at everything. He thinks nobody likes him. Even his friends are always giving him advice because he's always screwing up at life. And when the little redhead girl moves in across the street, he now has his first real crush. And what I loved about the Peanuts movie, besides the aesthetics of it, the way it looks, the animation, which is all great, is the fact that it's actually a wholesome movie that teaches kids good lessons that kids can go and watch and learn something important while still being entertained and adults can enjoy too because it respects Charles Schultz's classic material. Another thing I loved about the Peanuts movie is that they didn't modernize it. Charlie Brown doesn't take a break from his homework to go scroll around on his tablet for a few hours. Lucy's psychiatric help for five cents is not Lucy's psychiatric help for an Amazon gift card. The kids in this movie play outside. They play hockey. They go ice skating. They do things outside with their friends. Nothing about the Peanuts movie decided to take on today's modern trends and paste it into this material because it just would not have worked. And it's also a great example for kids. Go outside, play with your friends, actually associate in person with your friends, not just online. It's also really funny and Snoopy and Woodstock, oh my god, they are genius. There are so many adorable moments in this movie and what I loved about it is that it's still Bill Melendez's voice voicing Snoopy and Woodstock. The man is no longer with us. They were able to use tons of old audio recordings to bring him back to life in this movie, which was truly awesome to hear. As for flaws, I mean, you, it's not like you watch the Peanuts movie looking to dissect it for flaws. If it's good, it's good. It doesn't try anything ambitious. It sticks to the formula of Peanuts which is what it should have done. There's no need for this movie to be innovative or different. It's peanuts. Charles Schultz is no longer with us. Are you really gonna take his legacy and change it to have him roll around in his grave? Of course not. You're gonna honor the source material and the Peanuts movie absolutely does. I had a great time watching it and I can't wait to watch it again. If you're a fan of the Peanuts like I am, you will probably have a great time with this movie. However, if you're not, you don't love the Peanuts, I can see how you might think this movie was just fine. I'm gonna give the Peanuts movie an A minus. And since this is a movie about a boy and his dog, here's a little clip of me and my dogs. Andy. Hey, boy. Hey, puppies. These are my puppies. These are the puppies. These are the puppies of the house. <laughs> this is the big puppy. This is the little puppy. Those are my puppies. Those are my little best friends. Those guys are awesome. The smaller one, Indy, we actually rescued him from a dumpster. Some idiot somewhere did that, and we found him and brought him back to health, and now he loves us. Also, really quick, want to let you guys know that the promotion I mentioned on my Casino Royale review for Jack Threads, that is still going on. They sent me this very nice flannel shirt from their new line. If you go to jackthreads.com slash chris, and use the coupon code CHRIS when you check out, you can get 20% off your order. I appreciate that because if I'm gonna do a promotion 
on a video. I wanna make sure that in some way it can give you guys something too if you're interested in that promotion. And I like that site a lot. They have a lot of really great stylish clothes. This is super comfortable and it's good because right now in Ohio, got longer sleeves, it's starting to get chilly outside. It's like 50 degrees and it's like the leaves are falling. It's sad, but summer's over. But like I said, jackthreads.com slash Chris, you can get 20% off your order if you use the coupon code Chris when you check out. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you appreciate that if you are looking for any new clothes. And I appreciate the fact that you guys watch my videos. I truly do. Thank you very much. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized.